I wonder what the future holds. Are you sure this is legal? I don't know. It's fun though, isn't it? Can you go get that? It was, it was this club uh, 130 years ago uh, when Amaryllis, Nat Harishoff's catamaran, went out, sailed, beat everybody, and was uh, excluded from further racing. Uh, what do you think he would say today, seeing this on the, on the front lawn? Oh, things do change, don't they? <laughs> things change a lot. Uh, yeah, I think people are interested in whether this is the future of sailboat racing, and a lot of our members are looking at that. It looks as though all the activity and all the improvements are underwater and that uh, we've got the rigs pretty much equal but uh, the, all the experimentation is going to be in the, the way you can have foils to control your platform. Everyone's looking at each other's wings and modifying them to take good ideas from the other guys and the other guys seem happy to have it go on and uh, it's sort of refreshing, huh? Oh, it's great. Like you're in, you know, you're in each other's trailers, you know, you're borrowing stuff, you're, uh, yeah, you can look at some of the cool ideas the other guys have done. So I think it's awesome. And that's what we need and, you know, in this sort of sport to grow it and create the interest because people originally when they were walking down to the tent, you can see them, they're a little bit cautious, but then, uh, you know, we're just saying, hey, come in and check it out. And uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Five, Holy four, crap. three, two, one, start! Holy Whoa! <laughs> there goes Glenn Ashby, Jimmy Spithill. Oh, it looks like they're gonna roll to Orion here going upwind. We got a roll going. Oh, they just went over! Whoa. They just went over! They're going over! Ooh. Get it, Petey! Oh, Steve Clark! Oh. Just, oh my god, they just broke! They totally broke! And what's going through your head as you're, as you're clutching that dagger board? Oh shit. <laughs> About it. <laughs> and then there were five. Steve Clark loses it. Oh man, I'm really feeling it for these guys. Spinny looks like he's in a Barca lounger back there. This is tight. This is really tight. Oh, Kanan slowing down in the chop there. Look at him. Look at him. Glenn is going to try to stay bow out on him a bit. If, he, if he's not bow out, then it's going to be hard for him to hang there. Three, two, one, there we go. go. Let's, what a good start. Both boats with a good start. Well, we get to see if a boat with these boat with wings, can they hang on someone's hip? I, I don't know, but uh, training on these boats, trying to get the hull out of the water, they were probably on the low side, maybe got hit by a puff going downwind. A little training from Invictus, they look really good downwind, I'll tell you.
Look at this. Broom at the mark. Broom at the mark. Orion nicely getting overlap on Invictus. Invictus has, yeah, they went right around him. But we have a race here. Oh, yeah, we do. Let's start. Let's turn around and make, start making our way up. This is on the water anarchy. <laughs> and I turn around. And that guy right over there. Right over there. <laughs> you got a windsurfer been towed in by an old Have man. You ever heard of the word? Pulp. It's one to one, guys. It was a, it was an interesting day out there. It was exciting for certainly for us to watch, but a lot of minefields and uh, and, and a long day of waiting. So, uh, what's your impression after after day one of this match to decide the next Little America's Cup champion? Well, I think it's pretty exciting. Certainly, Fred and Magnus are sailing pretty well, especially downwind. Um, so we've certainly got our work cut out, but we, um, being Aussies, we love a challenge. And you're very very smooth and almost, shall I say, it dainty. I appreciate that clean. <laughs> this is the concept. It's been a long night, and uh, we've uh, we've uh, we've certainly gotten creative. It took a lot of testing. First, we started with a small engine, and then a little bigger, and then we boosted it up. And 350, we're still thinking that maybe we need more. Yeah, but we'll go so with that right this now. This is it. Note the wave piercing bow. Uh, note the uh, the bumper. With the I just want to give you a little intro. This is the final day of the Little America's Cup. We couldn't leave these wayward folks. They look so, so, so sad, like little waifs on the streets of London in the 1800s, you know? We have a pile of Invictus crew here with us today. Uh, there's no wind. They are trying to tack up and down, trying to do the wild thing, but not much is happening there. Now, what do you mean by the wild thing? Well, that's when the boat goes up. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. You know, uh, obviously are you're. We on, are we on live TV here? Well, we're talking about race four, the Little America's Cup. Kanan, the Canadian defender against Alpha, the Australian challenger. And I'm going to get John Casey here to talk to you through what the wind's doing. A lot of uh, a lot of boats probably wouldn't start in this, uh, but these boats can you know go two and a half times the wind speed in this kind of condition. A nice about eight boat length lead over Canaan, and the breeze has freshened up a little bit here. Look at Canaan. Look at that speed, that beautiful bow cutting through the water. That is carbon with just a, uh, just a clear coat over it. There's your guy, that guy right there. You hear everybody screaming and yelling. Patient lady. 
winning that race. We, Times we and stuck it. to our strategy. Run away. <laughs> run no <around>. penalty. <laughs> get off the line. And sail around him down wind. Yeah, sail around him. So. Um, uh, clean signing some autographs right now. So he's got uh, he's got some fans here. So uh, we're gonna have to give him a minute. No. No, don't do it, dude.